That's a good if pull. He had the dogfish. Yeah. Grabbing the prong. Interesting. Oh yeah. 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 Ah. Huh. Would you like me to grab it? Um, I can grab it. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, he's here. Yeah, that's fine. I can grab it. Not so elegant, but. <laughs> oh! Oh! No, no, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. I just don't want to drop that knife in the water. <laughs> there we go. So, this is a spiny dogfish, and the reason it's called a spiny dogfish, you can see a little the spine right here, and you definitely don't want to be poked by that. It hurts a lot, and they also have teeth as well. Um, there you go. There we go. The spiny dogfish is a small species of shark. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's another spine on the dorsal fin as well. And this is known as a pest to salmon fishermen. When you're trolling for salmon with bait, yeah. you tend to get this a lot and it can be a nuisance. But this is actually a, a, a main, um, a, a, a big export yeah. from BC, yeah. right? There's actually a viable commercial fishery yeah. um, and they export these guys to Europe and Asia. So the fish itself, the flesh, um, is used as fish and chips. Uh, when I grew up in Australia, uh, we used to get uh, something called flake. Oh yeah. And uh, it, it's actually really tasty. And that comes from uh, various species of shark, including this one right here. And uh, in, in England, they, they call them rock salmon. Yeah. And uh, it's used for, as a replacement of cod. Um, and they used to catch these guys in the, in the Atlantic, but um, it's not a very sustainable fish over there. Um, it, the, the species has actually gone downhill um, due to overfishing, but in, in, in BC, they actually, it's a hook and line, hook and line commercial fishery um, that we catch and export them. We've put this guy back sure. here. Okay. Um, you can actually keep this for eating, but we're not gonna do that. It's, it's actually pretty tasty. I, I thought about keeping one just to eat, you can fillet it and skin it and yep. coat it in batter and uh, eat it, right? But um, I hear you have to do that right away, though. Um, because of the urea, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, have, it's, yeah you pretty much have to eat it fresh. Uh, but the only thing, it's um, dogfish, like any other long living species, it's full of mercury. Oh. Um, surprisingly, these guys can live up to 80 years old. Wow. Yeah. It takes about 20 years for them to sexually mature. That's why in the Atlantic, they, they, um, they kind of overfish them, right? right. Um, because they, don't, they just don't, they don't give them enough time to rebound. Right. Um, so it takes 20 years for them to, uh, to reach reproduction. And it takes two years for them to, um, uh, well, the gestation period is two years. So they, they stay pregnant for two years wow. before they give live birth, N not fish eggs, but live birth. Wow. Yeah, so a fish like that is probably a few decades old and they recommend you to eat small ones, not right. really big ones. Right. There's big ones been around for I don't know, 40, 50 years, and it's been taking up all those, all those heavy metals being yeah. um, accumulating in the body, right? And uh, you definitely don't want to eat that. No. Yeah. Crazy. There you go. Yeah, but uh, small one though, you can eat it once in a while, um, which is fine.